हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जियोमेट्रिक डायमेंशनिंग एंड टॉलरेंसिंग लेक्चर टू इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी सम टर्मिनोलॉजीज यूज्ड इन जीडीएनटी एंड वी विल ट्राई टू लर्न फॉर्म टॉलरेंसेस लेट अस डिस्कस सम बेसिक टर्मिनोलॉजीज इन जियोमेट्रिक डायमेंशनिंग एंड टॉलरेंसिंग वॉच Tolerance stack up analysis lecture one for few terminologies like inner boundary, outer boundary, virtual condition, resultant condition, maximum material condition, and least material condition. Let us discuss what is basic dimension. So, basic dimension is theoretically exact dimension. in uh, that can be represented in many ways on the drawing first way is to provide dimension on the boxes another way is if there is such kind of component you can write a note like untoleranced dimension or basic dimension so like uh, here 50 plus or minus 1 so this will not be basic dimension but location of this radius 10 even the radius and this uh, thickness 10 all the dimension will be basic one and there is another method also to define basic dimension because uh, in today uh, scenario we are using cad tools like solid works pro e uh, so in that model also we can define basic dimension so by throughout call out it will directly reflect on the drawing so these are method to call out basic dimension but according to asme basic dimensions are cannot be manufactured because they are theoretically exact dimension so to provide a tolerance zone all basic dimension must contain some geometric tolerancing like in this case we have de defined location of hole as a basic dimension so we need some geometric tolerances on that to provide that tolerance zone so it can be manufactured because any machine uh, in this world cannot produce zero with zero tolerance so we need at least some tolerance and basic dimension do not carry any tolerances so we need to provide g tol on those cases in this case as we have made all the tolerances uh, all the dimensions are basic so we need to provide a kind of profile tolerance on this all around that is all around symbol we will discuss in detail while we will be discussing the profile tolerancing so this is how we deal with basic dimensions on the drawing now let us discuss what is implied in 90 degree angle and what is 90 degree or 0 degree basic angle so in drawing orthographic projection that is 2d views generally we do not provide any kind of angle for these corners or suppose we are drawing these kind of thing we need not to provide this 90 degree angle this is assume that there is 90 degree on that corner or on these corners or this edge is parallel with this axis so 0 degree or 90 degree those uh, angles are called as implied ang angles and in that case on those 90 degrees or 0 degrees we have certain table uh, uh, for the tolerances on our drawing so on those uh, angles that table is applied suppose uh, generally we mention angle tolerance is plus or minus half degree so there will be half degree of tolerances on all these corners or on anything in orthographic projection that we are not defining those angles but whenever we provide any kind of geometric tolerancing on the feature the implied 90 degree angle or 0 degree angle becomes basic that means that becomes theoretically perfect dimension whenever we apply g tol on this so suppose we apply g tol then these dimension will be basic and if there is no g tol on these edges this will be implied angle and the uh, the table of tolerances will be applied on 
that so that called as implied angles son geometric tolerances are applied on the drawing classified as form control profile control orientation control location control run out etc let's study form control symbols and begin with straightness so what is straightness straightness is condition where a element of surface or axis should be in straight line within specified tolerance let's discuss how to apply straightness tolerance straightness geometric tolerance and what does it means suppose this is the component and limit of size is 20 and 19.95 we have tolerance of 0.05 and uh, straightness tolerance of 0.03 applied on the a's i repeat it is applied on the a's not on the dimension what does it means in this case as we uh, as the geometric tolerance is applied on the a's the limit of the size must be respected like in any scenario the envelope should be mmc 20 the dimension any dimension should not go beyond 20 mm or inch so what does it means it means we have to establish envelope of mmc 20 and then any form variation should lie within 0.03 wide range so it is lying within 0.03 so component will be okay so and our envelope will be of mmc 20 and any kind of form variation in straightness will be allowed of 0.03 wide in this case also if a uh, component is manufactured like this straightness of the edge of a single element surface element should be within 0.03 wide though envelope would remain 20 mm or inch only now suppose a component is manufactured near to the mmc size in this case if we go like this is the envelope of 20 mm and component is manufactured near to the mmc so then what will happen suppose this is the part one surface element is this one another surface element is this one so the tolerance available for this surface element would remain 0.03 but it may be possible that for opposite element for this side of element the same amount of tolerance will not be available or suppose component is manufactured at mmc completely at mmc this straightness will be null and void there should be no form go beyond 20 mm size so that that is what it means when we apply straightness on the a's and one more thing in these cases this tolerance amount should always be less than this tolerance amount here the tolerance is 0.05 and it is 0.03 so it should be always less than this 0.05 tolerance zone then and then only it will be applicable suppose i give it more than this 0.06 so it, it will go beyond the mmc envelope that will not be possible in this scenario so the tolerance value should always be less than this tolerance zone now there is a, another scenario when geometric tolerance of straightness is applied on the dimension geometric tolerance is applied on the dimension not on the is what does it means it means it is applied regardless of feature size that means if any feature manufactured at its limit that is 20 mm at its mmc even then form variation of 0.05 will be applicable whereas in previous case when the uh, gtol was on the is when 
component will be manufactured at MMC, there will be no form variation allowed. But in this case, regardless of feature size, whatever it is manufactured, 19 mm, 20 mm, or there will be uh, this geometric tolerancing on that feature. Now, what would be envelope in this case? Envelope will be 20.05. 20 is MMC plus this G tall. So 20.05 will be the envelope dimension. And that doesn't mean that uh, uh, size variation of this component is allowed till 20.05. No. Size variation should remain till 20 only. If you can see size should remain between 20 and 19.9 only form variation is allowed after 20 that is 05 so what would be, would be the tolerance zone for it for its axis it should be remain point in between 0 0.05 diameter so this is regardless of feature size suppose component is manufactured at 19.90 then also the tolerance of straightness will be 0, 0.5 so if component is manufactured in its worst scenario that is at MMC that is 20 then also this 0 0.05 of tol uh, tolerance of uh, straightness will be available so that is how uh, defining the straightness tolerance on the dimension means let's discuss what will be when straightness to uh, tolerance is provided on the dimension and MMC modifier is given over here. In previous scenario, there was no MMC. It was regardless of feature size. Now, in this case, we have mentioned MMC. It means MMC is important for us. That means MMC is important for us. Only 0 0.05 of form variation is allowed at MMC but when size departs from MMC like MMC is 20 when size manufacture of real component is 19.9 or 19.95 when it departs from MMC there will be more tolerance available on form so let's discuss what does it means it means that we need to establish envelope of 20.05 that is the MMC plus 0 0.05 that will be the envelope and component should pass through that and suppose component is manufactured at 20 first scenario should be there is no form variation it is okay another scenario is when size manufactured is 20 but envelope we have that is 20.05 so it can vary its axis can vary within 0 0.05 of the range size variation is not up to 20.5 size variation should limit 20 so now component is manufactured at 20 form variation is available only 0 0.05 because we mentioned that MMC is important for us now suppose component is manufactured smaller in this scenario component is manufactured of 19.95 this is real scenario then what will be available uh, form variation to manufacturer so suppose component is manufactured manufacture 19.95 envelope is 20 so this component can vary to, till the envelope that is 20.05 so it is smaller and it is varying up to 20.05 so 0 0.05 plus how much amount it is manufactured below mmc that is 0 0.5 the tolerance zone available will be 0.1 so form variation will be available 0.1 in this scenario so the best scenario would be when the component will be manufactured at its lmc what will happen we will have a uh, this difference 0.1 and the additional G tall that is 0 0.05 that is 0 0.15 of form, form variation that is also called as bonus tolerance that we have already discussed in our stack up series of lecture in lecture 
वन सो इफ वी प्रिपेयर अ टेबल फॉर एम एम सी काइंड ऑफ वेन वी प्रोवाइड मॉडिफायर ऑफ एम एम सी ऑन द जी टॉल ऑफ स्ट्रीटनेस वॉट विल हैपन सपोज साइज इज मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ ट्वेंटी टॉलरेंस ऑफ ऑन फॉर्म विल अवेलेबल पॉइंट जीरो फाइव दैट इज गिवेन इन जी टॉल देन इफ साइज इज मैन्युफैक्चर एज नाइनटीन पॉइंट नाइन नाइन द फॉर्म टॉलरेंस विल बी पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स नाइनटीन पॉइंट नाइन एट फॉर्म टॉलरेंस विल बी पॉइंट जीरो सेवन If it is manufactured 19.95, form tolerance will be 0.1. If it is manufactured 19.91, uh, the form tolerance will be 0.14. And if it is will be, uh, it will be 19.9 manufactured at its LMC. The form tolerance will be 0.15. That that is maximum tolerance we can have. So that is also called as bonus tolerance. So when we provide any kind of modifier. on the gtol we get bonus tolerances it can be applied on lmc vcs also when lmc is important for us it can be like l over here so when lmc will be important for us so th then what will happen it will be it will go reverse like then only 05 form tolerance will available on mmc then it go further here we will get 0.6 uh, here we get uh, Point one and maximum form variation we will get on its MMC that will be point one five. So when LMC is applied, it goes on reverse basis. When LMC is important for us, but I haven't seen much cases of this LMC. Generally, we use MMC because MMC is worst case scenario in case of soft or cold. This shows. few examples how straightness can be used on profiled surfaces on conical surfaces or on flat or regular polygons etc this shows how straightness can be measured a straight is is placed on the surface and maximum dip can be measured so accordingly straightness can be defined another method is mount the cylinder on surface plate by using mounting blocks or v blocks and place the dial gauge on that set the reading to 0 then move the dial gauge along a single element of the surface the maximum difference between the dial gauge shows the straightness error and that should be within specified straightness tolerance next video will be regarding flatness cylindricity and circularity we will cover all the form tolerances thank you